Today, I'd like to share with you ArcGIS Image for ArcGIS Online. I'll show you how to leverage these capabilities, powered by content hosted in the Living Atlas, to anticipate the risk climate change poses to US corn production. Looking at this data, we see the Midwestern US produces most of the country's corn. But in these high production counties, temperatures are expected to increase seven degrees Fahrenheit by 2050. Seven degrees. So what will this unprecedented warming mean for the future of American corn? This question leads me to the Living Atlas, where this question can be answered using readily available data in a cloud environment. Through Living Atlas, I find a wealth of authoritative environmental data. To do research on agriculture and climate change, I know I need to start with bioclimate data. The search bioclimate yields readily available authoritative climate models with historical averages and future predictions. I'm interested in max temperature, annual precipitation, and several other variables. Using the same process, I can also find data on elevation, land cover, and other layers I'll need for my analysis. Next, I can extract these layers, bring them into a web map, and begin my analysis using raster functions. Right out of the box, ArcGIS provides over 150 raster functions to perform advanced analysis, like radiometric and geometric corrections, mathematical operations, and more. And I can string these together to create custom raster function chains, also known as raster models, uniquely tailored to the problem I'm trying to solve. For example, I built this raster model to study corn suitability. I have my environmental data normalized to optimal conditions and applied a weighted overlay to compute a suitability map. I can kick off analysis, and a few minutes later, I can see my results. Here, we see dark green areas indicating high corn suitability centered around Iowa. Now, I can plug in my future climate data to the same raster model to derive predictions on future suitability. As I turn on these results, watch how the center of the Corn Belt moves from Iowa to Wisconsin, 350 miles northeast. Think about what this means for the landscape of the Midwest, 